In this video, I'm gonna talk about a blood pressure chart based on your age. My name is Dr. Story. I've been in practice for over 25 years. I'm gonna give you realistic advice based on my experience and based on the scientific literature. Now, sometimes your experience and the scientific literature can change because as you get more and more into practice, you see more and more patients, you see a lot of older patients, you start to notice what kind of average blood pressures are. The other thing is that when I started in practice 25 years ago, um, the thing that was considered high, you really didn't worry about blood pressure, no matter what a person's age, unless it was about 160 over 90. Now, things have changed and we're gonna discuss that in this video. Now, why do people want a blood pressure chart based on their age? The reason why is because as you age, the parts basically get uh, stiffer. Not all parts, but most of the parts. And the parts that we're concerned with are our arteries. And our arteries get stiffer, so therefore the blood pressure goes up. If you're not sure exactly what blood pressure is, at the end of the video, I promise to put a link, I'll put it somewhere at the bottom, to fully understand what blood pressure, but I'm assuming you understand what blood pressure is, and you wanna know at your age, what should your blood pressure be? So let's discuss that right now. So if you just Google it, you will find a number of charts and the charts will look something like this. Let me show you. So very often you'll Google and you'll find a chart and you're not sure if it's legit or not, but it looks kind of legit because it is says approximately ideal blood pressure according to age. And here we are at a one to two year old, and of course you're probably not concerned at that, but you can see as you get older, the blood pressure goes higher. Now this shows differences between males and females, but let's look down the chart and let's look at the age where most people start to worry about blood pressure. And I'm gonna say that about the time that you're 30, 35 years old, is when you really start thinking that you should have bought life insurance. <laughs> because your blood pressure and your health is starting to go downhill at that point if you're not careful. Now notice that the ideal blood pressure of 120 over 80 is right there for females. Now where is 120 over 80 for males? As an 18 year old. So in an ideal world, you would have 120 over 80 at 18 years old um, and that's the way it goes. Now interestingly enough, for some reason, they want you to go lower than 80 as you get older from 19 to 24. I assume that's because you just have less stress or something like that, right? So, but as you can see, if you look at this chart, as you get older, the systolic blood pressure, which is the first number, as well as the diastolic blood, blood pressure seems to go up, even with male or female. So let's say you're over 60 years old. The ideal blood pressure would be 134 over 84 for a female and 135 over 88 for a male. Now, there are a number of charts just like this. Many of the charts are approximately the same, but look at the source and you look at the source and I just picked this one up and this was from a website called Disabled World. I don't know how legit that is, but there's a lot of websites, Times of India, uh, Simply Fantastic Books. Another one is IdealBloodPressureInfo.com. Uh, Pinterest, that's not exactly where you want to be getting your health information from. Uh, a lot of Pinterest. Um, so let's look at some legitimate sources and what they say regarding your age and your blood pressure. So let's look at this chart right now. Now normal, it says, is less than 120 and less than 80. So those are the numbers that the Heart Association wants you to have. Now if it's elevated, it will be between 120 and 129 and still less than 80. Now high blood pressure, hypertension stage one, is where you would be in the orange there at 130 to 139 and then the diastolic would be between 80 and 89. So that would be a stage one hypertension. Stage two high blood pressure where you have hypertension would be 140 or higher or 90 and higher. And those are the numbers where you, obviously you're in the red, you're at stage two. Now if your blood pressure becomes higher than 180 in the systolic 
and higher than 120 in the diastolic, they consider that a hypertensive crisis and you should consult your doctor immediately. Now on this website, the American Heart Association website, that is what I would consider a little bit more legitimate than, uh, you know, Pinterest. And you will notice on this website that the main factor that's important when we're looking at a chart, we're looking for a chart based on our age, what should our blood pressure be? It's, it doesn't have a chart. It actually states that as we get older, because our arteries get stiffer, that our pressure will go up and that increases our chances of heart attacks and strokes. And that explains the reason why we want to keep our blood pressure lower. Now, when do you have a doctor that will prescribe medication for this? Well, it depends. It depends on the experience of the doctor, their concern for you, your genetics, your lifestyle, and all those factors. But essentially, when you are in phase one or stage one, they can give you medication. If you're in stage two or three, they're more likely to give you medication. But some doctors will give you medication just right above 120 over 80. Now, what about the idea that your blood pressure, the systolic, should be 100 plus your age? Well, this follows along a little bit with those age charts that as you get older, your blood pressure goes up. But the feeling now is the reason it's going up is because you're unhealthy. You're eating crappy food and you're not exercising and or you have bad genetics. So the numbers naturally do go up, which it is common, but it is not normal. So there's a difference between blood pressure that's higher and it's common, meaning a lot of people have it, but that doesn't necessarily mean it should be normal. So according to this website, what's interesting is the higher your age, your blood pressure still should be below 120 over 80. At least that's what they're claiming. So now after the age of 40, if your systolic number goes up 20 or your diastolic goes up 10, those are signs and risk factors for doubling the chances of having a stroke or heart attack. So as you can see, according to the American Heart Association, there is no actual chart based on your age what your blood pressure should be. So now, now let's look at the Harvard uh, School of Medicine Health Publishing. So let's look at this. What do you see? It's exactly the same. Now what it says here is that in 2017, the new guidelines from the Heart Association, the American College of Cardiology, and nine other health organizations lowered the numbers for the diagnosis of hypertension to 130 over 80. And here's the important part. It says for all adults. The previous guidelines set the threshold at 140 over 90 for people younger than 65 and 150 over 80 for those 65 and older. So do you see what I mean? When I graduated, I was taught that 160 over 90 was the threshold where you start to really get concerned. Then throughout time, they changed it. And it says here that if you were younger than 65 years old, 140 over 90 suddenly became the threshold. And then for people over the age of 65, 150 over 80 was the threshold. Well, now it is 120 over 80, and that is the threshold. Anything above that is now considered on your way towards hypertension. Now, this is the important part, and I want you to listen carefully. If you don't fully understand what those two numbers mean, the first number and the second number, then what I want you to do is I want you to really learn yourself what these numbers mean. And I'm gonna put a link right down here on this side of a video I made explaining in very simple terms the com so you will have a complete understanding of what blood pressure means. If you wanna know what type of foods will help lower blood pressure almost in an instant, then go ahead and watch that video and start changing your diet because it's the one thing that we actually have control over.